What's your name? Luke Alexander Denman. What is your age? 34. Where do you live? In Austin, Texas. When did you enter the Army? In 2006. What has been your tactical training? Uh, I was in the Army for five years. I did uh, infantry and AIT um, training. And I also did deep water dive training and uh, aviation training for fixed wing aircraft. Where and when did you meet Jordan Woodrow? In Germany in 2009 or 2010. What was the job proposal for Jordan? To meet Venezuelans in Colombia, train them, and come with them to Venezuela to secure Caracas and uh, secure an airport here for follow-on. When did Jordan contact you for the job? Jordan contacted me for the job in early December, but he didn't give me a lot of details about exactly what it was. When did you fly from U.S. to Colombia? In January, on the 16th. Who accompanied you? Uh, Jordan, Alex, and Aaron. How did you move to Rio Hacha? Uh, we took a car that Alex drove with myself and Aaron. Who accompanied, accompanied you? Uh, it was just uh, Alex, myself, and Aaron in the car to Rio Hacha. Who received you in Rio Hacha? Uh, call. How much would Jordan pay for the job? Um, I expected anywhere from 50 to 100,000. What is the training you teach? Um, planning, mission planning, and tactical work inside buildings. How many times did you visit Colombia? This is the first time. How many times did you visit Venezuela? This is the first time. Where did you stay in Rio Hacha? Uh, there were some some houses that the, the, the guys were living in that we stayed with them at. How received you in the Alta Guajira? Um, there was a, a man a man in a wheelchair and uh, a, a crew, another more men with him. Did you know about a document that described the close of the operation? Yes, I saw it uh, about a month, month and a half ago with uh, Jordan's signature and Juan Guaido's signature. How many uh, people confirm, confirm Cyber Corp. Three that I'm aware of, including myself. Which kind of profile uh, have the the, the uh, peoples who work in Cyber Corp? Uh, the only other person that is not Jordan is Aaron, and we both we both know Aaron, or we both know Jordan from uh, our military experience. In, in which countries the Silver Corp are operational right now? Right now? Yes. Just here. How many irregular groups do you uh, was trained in Rio Hacha? There was uh, three small groups. How many men in, in that groups? In in total, it was 50 to 60, so around 20 people per group. Tell me about the, the instructions that Jordan Woodrow gave to you, and which was the, the, the targets? 
the, the only instructions that I received from Jordan was to ensure that we took uh, control of an airport for a safe passage for Maduro and uh, receiving of airplanes. Why the Donald Trump government insists in attack Venezuela if we don't uh, represent a, a treat for your country? I, I don't know. Do you have knowledge about uh, another training camps of uh, private contracts to make in invasions at, in, in Venezuela? No. Why did you train irregular groups as a special force to invade Venezuela? I believe that it was helping their cause. I'm, I'm going to ask you uh, as Venezuelan citizen and um, think in your condition like uh, American soldier what would, will be your reaction if irregular forces entered in, in your country in order to assassinate the president? I wouldn't like it. Why? Um, I, that would probably mean, mean more war. Because if you realize that you were training irregular forces to enter Venezuela, which is a free country, did you continue operating on Venezuelan soil? Because I didn't feel that that was the case. I, I, I was helping Venezuelans take back control of their country. What other tasks involve taking control of the airport? Securing the sector, establishing outer security, communicating with the tower, um, bringing in planes, one of which includes one to put Maduro on and uh, take him back to the United States. Who commands Jordan? President Donald Trump. Who gave you the weapons and the tactical uniforms? Jordan through Silver Corps. What jobs does Cyber Corp? Uh, private security contracting and consulting, known in some places as mercenary work. How many American contractors were in the camp and the operation? Two, including myself. Can you describe Alex and uh, how was your interaction with her? Um, she was late 30s, early 40s, 130, 140 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, light skin. She spoke Spanish and English, and she drove us from Barranquilla to Rio Hacha. Can you describe the, the man in the wheelchair? He arrived in a, a nice SUV. He had on a nice shirt. He had uh, uh, gold jewelry on and he appeared to have some influence. Who, who was leading the Venezuelan military deserters? Uh, Captain Cicada. How did you know him? Uh, I met him when we got to Rio Hacha. Can you describe the safe houses where he was staying in Rio Hacha? Uh, there was one that had a, a large brown garage door Uh, a front entrance to the left, a window to the left of that, two large trees in the front, and uh, a balcony on the second floor. And the other one had a, a large gated area out front. Uh, it was a White House, and it had a, a police station very nearby. 
The first one was on uh, 20, 25th Street, I believe. And the other one was somewhere between 30th and 37th. My responsibilities to Silver Corps are written in a contract or described in a contract signed by Jordan Goudreau, Juan Rendon, and Juan Guaido. Señor, el señor Luke, ¿cómo es que se pronuncia el apellido? Luke Deman. Luke Deman. Dice una cantidad de cosas, ¿no? Primero reconoce que el jefe es Donald Trump. El jefe de él es el señor eh, Jordan Goodrew. Pero el jefe de, 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 de Jordan Goodrew es Donald Trump. Lo dice este señor. Además dice una cosa muy curiosa, ¿no? Él dice que le dan como misión asegurar el aeropuerto. Tomar el aeropuerto. ¿Por qué le dan a un extranjero tomar el aeropuerto? Había otros, otras personas ahí. Nosotros vemos, mira, vemos la, la en los planes, los planes que están en, el, en, ese, en esos documentos. Esos bichos tienen marcado hasta las escaleras por escalones, por donde iban a pasar. Escalera norte, escalón 12. Parece aquí, el que se va a parar aquí. Todo así, ¿cómo se llama? Milimétricamente calculado. Este caballero dice que le dan la misión del aeropuerto. Y él dice que le dan la misión del aeropuerto para asegurar la llegada de los aviones. ¿Qué aviones? Pregunta uno. ¿Quién va a mandar los aviones? El jefe, el jefe es Donald Trump. Los aviones para llevarse a Nicolás Maduro. Lo dice el señor, que esa era la misión que él tenía. Y al final termina diciendo que su misión estaba plasmada en un contrato y lo muestra la hoja del contrato. Lo, me imagino que en el Sevín le dijeron, ¿usted reconoce esto? Yo me imagino que Gudrun le dijo... A, a la gente que estaba ahí, mira, aquí todo está asegurado con este contrato. Hay un amigo mío, muy amigo, un hermano, mejor dicho, me dijo, mira, el que firma un contrato es porque está seguro. Y él estaba seguro de lo que, de lo, por, eso, por eso los puso a firmar, el señor Gudru. Estaba seguro de, de su acción, no que se va a encontrar con unos malandros que lo iban, lo iban a, a engañar, pobrecito, ¿vale? Cayó en las manos de, de un malandro como Juanito Limaña. Eso no había escuchado la canción de... de ¿Cómo se llama? De Héctor, Héctor Lavoe, ¿no? De Héctor Lavoe. James Goodrow, si está viendo el programa, escucha esa canción. Y va a saber quién es Juanito Limaña. ¿James? Jordan. Jordan Goodrow. Escucha esa canción. Juanito Limaña. Y vas a saber quién es ese personaje. Es de Héctor Lavoe. Héctor Lavoe, un campeón.